Okay, hey, welcome back. This is College Algebra, um, section 9.3. Today we want to talk about the parabola, and we'll begin with a bit of a review from what we already know about parabolas. Okay. So, in general, we've worked with only two orientations of parabolas, the kind of downward-facing parabola, and uh, we have this point called the vertex, and then this axis of symmetry going through the parabola. And uh, then we had the other orientation where it's kind of a U-shape in this direction. Okay? And again, we have the axis of symmetry, and then we had our uh, vertex at some position, h comma k. Um, the forms that we've learned so far, uh, y equals a times h minus, uh, sorry, x minus h. So x minus h um, squared plus k. Uh, I think the book referred to this as standard form, but I, I would think of it more as a vertex form because you could read the vertex right off the, the, the formula there. Um, the vertex is at h comma k. Uh, the second form that we learned, of course, uh, probably the more familiar form from our work in the previous classes, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And this time the vertex formula, of course, is more complicated. Um, you take negative b all over 2 times a, and then you can plug that back into the formula to get your y coordinate. Okay, um, the orientation was determined by this A value. So if the A was less than zero, it would be a sad face. And then if A is greater than zero, it would be a happy face. Okay, okay so we've, we've already dealt with this guy a bit. Um, we want to reimagine now the parabola as a set of points. So just be like before with the ellipse and the hyperbola, if you remember my, my first original definition, we define them in terms of some sort of distance, right? So... Uh, distances to foci in particular. And then we had two foci in each case. And in this case, we only have one foci, but then we'll have something else called a directrix. Okay. So again, another definition in terms of, I guess, distances. So the parabola is going to be the set of all points, which fulfill some characteristics. So in this case, such that um, this distance, which I'll call PM, which is a distance to the directrix, equals the distance to the focus. Okay. So a picture, you know, is worth a thousand words in this case. Let's get a picture going. Um, we can have sideways facing parabolas now. So we'll have, in general, four orientations. So this is a uh, sideways orientation. So we'll have a focus point. Uh, uh, its location is going to have the letter P associated with it. So right now the focus is located at uh, little p, uh, zero. And, and this little p is different than this big P that, that's given in the above definition. The big P is actually just a point on then the parabola. Okay, So that point would be x comma y. So you see I kind of put a cursive P on there. But uh, yeah, sorry, it's a little confusing, I, I know. Anyways, the m value is kind of a perpendicular distance from that point p to this directrix. Okay? So as long as that, that point is equidistant from the focus and the directrix, then it's on the uh, parabola. Okay? okay, so this dashed line is, uh, so let me label things. This, this point here is the focus. The dashed line is the directrix. And its location is at uh, negative p. So the focus is at positive p units away from the vertex on the inside of the parabola. And then the directrix is, is uh, negative p units away from the vertex in the other, in the other direction. So it's a below kind of the parabola, or, or to the, in this case, to the left. Okay, okay. so we want to give you, uh, you know, the... the, the the standard forms with vertices in all locations, so we won't bother with just giving you the, like we did with the uh, ellipse and the hyperbola, starting with centers at, at zero, zero, and then shifting. We're, we're just going to give you all the shifted versions all at once and sort of kill um, a million birds with one stone. So this is section three, and we're looking at uh, 
uh, parabolas um, with vertices at locations h comma k. So just a general formulas now. Okay, so the pictures, what do they look like? There's basically four pictures, but um, uh, we'll group them via the sideways oriented or up down oriented. Okay. So the sideways oriented is something we're probably not as familiar with. So that's where I'm going to start with my pictures. Okay. So we'll have uh, a ver vertex at located at h comma k. And then to get to the, uh, so let me write some of this down. So the vertex is at h comma k. In order to get to your, your focus, you're going to go left or right by a value of p. Okay. So the focus um, because we're moving left or right, you're messing with the x coordinate. So it'd be h plus the p value, comma k. Um, so the, ver the the focus would be like right there. And then the directrix is uh, you move to the left to get to, to that um, that line, and it'll be x equals. Um, x equals h minus the p value. Okay. So uh, if the p, the p works kind of like the a value before. If the p is negative, uh, so let me give you the, if p is uh, positive, then you'll have the above orientation, the one I just drew. But if p is negative, you'll have the other, the sideways orientation. Okay. The formulas will stay the same, but uh, yeah, the, the p-value tells you which direction it's going. Okay, let's look at the other uh, version now. So this is the one that we're, we are more familiar with. Okay, so uh, oriented upwards or oriented downwards. And again, the p-value will kind of tell you that. And so so where, what is the p-value? It comes from the form, the new formula we're going to be using for these guys, and it will look like this, y minus k uh, squared equals 4p times x minus h. So it's a little different. Um, you could read, though, the uh, vertex off of this form, and you could read off the uh, p-value. Okay. Um, and you may be wondering why I would even bother putting it into this format. And it, it, it's kind of a technical discussion on um, why I would do this. But it, what it does is, is it makes the formulas for the conic sections much, much more simpler. Um, you would have to, instead of using XY coordinate system, you, you use what's called the polar coordinate system, and all of the equations for the conic sections, in a weird way, look the same. They're just kind of variations. So, you know, it, it takes a while to get there, and they don't even really teach it that much anymore, but um, that's, that's where you would be headed with this kind of discussion. Anyways, um, you know, the vertex, again, is located at H comma K, and then to get to the uh, focus and the directrix, you're moving up or down by p, right? So here the vertex is at h comma k. The focus this time you're moving up or down by p, depending on the the sign of p, whether it's negative or positive. And then the directrix uh, this time, of course, will be y equals uh, because a horizontal line. And that will just be the uh, k um, minus p. So you have to move down to get to that um, directrix. Maybe it's down here. I don't know. Okay, so here's my directrix. Okay, so again, um, the p value sort of tells you the orientation. If p is greater than 0, it's a happy face. If p is less than 0, it's a sad face. And then the formula for this guy is more traditional. So if you look at the, the guy on the, on the left here, its form, um, the y variable, if you were to FOIL that out, would end up being squared. So it's basically like ay squared plus by plus c instead of ax squared plus bx plus c. It's like the x and the y's are, are kind of reversed. So the, the formula here is going to be then x minus h squared equals uh, 4p times y minus k. So you'll see the, the x variable being squared as, as we are used to. Okay. Um, there's other things, that called the, one thing called the, the lattice rectum, which is uh, the distance um, from, if you look above at my uh, parabola here, it's this distance through the focus to either, either uh, 
sort of the top or lower branch of the parabola. So just let me uh, note that. Uh, and uh, it helps with graphing the thing. So this thing is called the lattice rectum. Okay. And over here, um, it has one as well. So that's the, again, lattice rectum. And its length is 4p. So if you have it in this form, you kind of know what that is. So um, the lattice rectum length. is the absolute value of 4p in both cases. And, and you know, that, that just, in general, I, I don't worry too much, but if you're drawing it, it kind of helps to have it if you need a really good uh, picture. Anyways, let's, let's just dive right in, right? So let's find the focus um, and, you know, the directrix and, and then graph it. Screwing up the word directrix. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, number six from the book, we have y squared equals four times x. Okay, I kinda, you, you can kind of put it into the form, one of the forms above there. So this is like y minus zero squared equals uh, four times x minus h. Okay. And, um, Right, so, so the vertex is just going to be, uh, and, uh, sorry, this should be x minus zero. The vertex is just going to be zero, zero. Okay? I'm just reading that off there. Um, I need the p-value. So like with the ellipse and the hyperbola, I would need the abc values. Here I need the p-value for this. Um, so the, the p-value comes from whatever's in front of this x minus h. Okay, and it... it I know that it says in the formula 4p right there, but uh, you set 4p equal to that thing. That's that's how you're going to approach that. And then you solve. So whatever is in this box is 4p. Okay. The, the fact that it's 4 is a little bit confusing, but you just set that equal to whatever is in the blue box equal to 4p and solve for p. So in this case, p will be 1. Okay. Um, from above our discussion, the orientation, we see that P is greater than zero and the Y variable is squared. So we're going to have kind of our uh, left facing parabola. So um, we could get it started and then just kind of get all the other information down. Um, right. So zero, zero is a vertex. Uh, the focus will be located at, um, so you have to move left and right, so you're, you're uh, moving on the uh, x direction over by one, so there's my focus, so it would be one zero, and then my directrix um, will be x equals something. So x equals, in this, in this case you go uh, zero minus one, so it'll be minus one, I'm going to draw that out. And then if you want to, you could get the lattice rectum uh, points to help you out. So that's uh, 4p, and of course that's just 4 in this case. So you're going up and down by 2. Okay, so there's the, the length of the lattice, lattice rectum is 4. Um, so you have to go up to 2 and then down 2. So basically you have to split the lattice rectum uh, into 2. Okay, so there's our picture, and I think we have all the information we are asked for, and we can move on. Okay, let's try another 12. We have, uh, sorry, okay, sorry, so, uh, 12, um, x squared equals negative 20y. Okay. Again, you can kind of put it into the form we need it, x minus, so it looks like this one's located at 0, 0 again, right? negative 20 times y minus 0. So, of course, our vertex is 0, 0. Um, again, we need that p-value. So you take whatever's in front here, in front of the non-squared part, and set that equal to 4p. Okay. So I have 4p equals negative 20. Uh, divide to solve for p. So p is negative 5 this time. 
Um, the orientation is kind of, uh, well, let's see, the P is less than zero and the X is squared, so it's going to be a sad face. Um, so let's get it started, get it drawn. Okay, so let's look at it here. I go, uh, to get to the focus this time, I have to do what? I have to go zero plus P. So that'll be zero minus five and a zero. So one, two, three, four, five. It's right here. And then uh, go up five to get to the directrix. So that'll be y equals because of the orientation. In this case, it'll be y equals five. I could just count to find its position. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then the lattice rectum is it is a. Uh, uh, absolute value for P, which is 20, so you're going back and forth by 10. So it's right here and right here. And then connect the dots. And I think that's all they asked for. So we're good. Okay. All right. Um, so those have both been centered at 0, 0. Let's look at some uh, shifted versions. So for instance, 38. We have x plus 2 squared equals negative 8 times y plus 2. Okay, so automatically I can see the vertex is negative 2, negative 2. I need the p value, so you just uh, set this equal to 4p. Okay, so p is equal to negative 2. Um, the orientation. Uh, P is less than zero. The X is squared, so that's the sad face version. Okay. And then we can come over here and draw the thing and pick them in the third quadrant. One, two, one, two. And I got to go down two to get to the focus. Okay, so it's going to be the focus is at uh, negative two, comma, negative two plus negative two. So it's at uh, negative two, negative four. And then the directrix will be y equals something. In particular, y equals uh, negative 2 minus negative 2, in other words, 0. And you, it, when you, if you graph it, you can kind of uh, count up to where it is and not have to worry about the formulas. But anyways, I'm doing it in blue here. It's right on the x-axis. So y equals 0. Um, anyways, the, the lattice rectum then, uh, 8. So you go back and forth by 4. From the focus. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, right there and there. And then connect your dots. And I think we'll be good. Okay. Uh, let's look at number 40. So this time I have y plus 4 squared equals 12 times x plus 2. Um, so vertex automatic, negative uh, 2, negative 4. Uh, get your p value, so 4p is 12, so p is 3. The uh, picture, the y is squared, so it's, it's p is greater than 0, and it's going to the right. Uh, start graphing the thing. I guess I'm going to be in the third quadrant again. Negative 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then uh, I go left 3. One, two, three, um, for the directrix. So even without the formula, you just count one, two, three, four, five. So x equals negative five for the directrix. And then for the for the focus, you go in the other direction by three. One, two, three. That'll be right here. Um, so uh, yeah, the focus uh, negative two. Plus three, comma negative four. And two plus three is one. Down negative four, and then they'll use the lattice rectum. So that's twelve. So you get uh, six in either direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Get one off the graph. Six. Okay, and then connect your dots, and you're good to go. Um, let's look at 44. So 44 is a bit weird because it's one of these complete the square problems. Okay. So 44 is x squared plus 6x plus 8y plus 1 equals 0. Okay. 
So I'm going to collect all the X stuff on one side, um, put everything else on the other side, and I'm going to end up having to complete the square. So on the other side I'll have negative 8Y minus 1 plus something. Okay, so complete the square, i got to go 6 all over 2B all over 2 squared. Okay, so 6 over 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9, so I'm adding that in on both sides. I can then uh, factor the left side, so x plus 3 squared equals negative 8y um, plus 8. Uh, I have to get it into this nice form. Uh, so I'm going to factor out with negative 8 to get a leading coefficient on, on the y to be 1, uh, then minus 1. Okay. And now it's ready to go. Right? So the vertex is at negative 3, comma 1. Uh, set 4p equal to negative 8, so your p value is negative 2. Uh, the x is squared, so it's a sad face. p is less than 0, and it's a sad face. So I can come over here and graph this thing. So I'm going negative 3, 1, 2, 3, up 1. Yeah. And then uh, to get to the focus, I go down 2, 1, 2. Get to the directors, so I go up 2, 1, 2. And that'll be a y equals. Okay, so let me get the, that stuff written out. So the focus, I have to go uh, add in the negative 2, so down by 2. So that would be it. Um, whoa, I screwed that up. Sorry, you go down. I, I manipulated the x coordinate. Okay, so I leave the um, x coordinate alone and I'm going down, so I have to manipulate the y coordinate, right? So 1 plus negative 2 would put me at negative 1, and you can see that's where the point is on the graph. Uh, then the directrix. Will be uh, y equals, and this time you go up from uh, 1, so you go 1, and technically it's 1 minus negative 2, that give you 1 plus 2. Um, if you go with the formulas, it should just be 3, so that makes sense. y equals 1, 2, 3, yep, that's right. Lattice rectum is 8, so you go back and forth by 8, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you connect your dots, and you should be good. Okay. So very procedural. Um, you probably want to get some, get these formulas kind of on note cards. Uh, like I said on the test, I'll probably give you some uh, uh, a formula sheet that basically is a bunch of hints uh, for all the different forms. And you'll, you'll be able to figure it out. But uh, okay. So anyways, I just want to look at one application of this stuff. And. Uh, with the, with the focus, the, the uh, with the sorry, with the with the parabola, they use them often for modeling headlights on cars. Um, and it's basically, if you look sideways onto a headlight like this, okay, so you can imagine uh, on a car of some sort. You know, so this is the front of the car. You know, what cars look like anymore. <laughs> Here's my car, and it has a headlight. Um, the shape right here is a parabola, okay? and they want you to put uh, the light bulb at the focus of that parabola because it has a nice physics uh, sort of relation that any light emitted from the focus will bounce directly out and straight forward, believe it or not. Okay? So if light comes out this way, it's going to hit the side and go straight forward. So, so the placement of the bulb is really, really important for headlights on cars. It's right there. It's still going to go straight forward. But you have to have that bulb right at the focus. Okay. It's right there. It's going to come out straight forward. So um, you'll see this in uh, the, uh, the, mo the application problems. I don't know if I have any in my math lab, but uh, if you take a different class like calculus, you'll probably see it there. So anyways... Um, and this example, I think it's example six, uh, an engineer is designing a flashlight using a reflecting mirror. The casting of the uh, flashlight has a diameter of four inches. So here's our head of our flashlight. The cast, the, it, it means basically this uh, 
length is four inches. And then it says it has a depth of two inches. So this length here is two inches. And uh, they want you to find an equation and, uh, of the parabola and then figure out where to place the bulb. Right? So they're asking for uh, focus. Okay, so the first thing you want to kind of do is standardize it into the xy plane. So um, we're going to put the vertex at 0, 0. Okay. And then we also will have uh, 1, 2, 1, 2. We'll have these points on the parabola, and hopefully we'll be able to figure out the, the formula for the parabola from that. Okay. So this point here is 2, 2, and this other point, negative 2, 2. But we can't really say that those are, like, you can't guess the focus here. You can't say, oh, the focus is, must be at 2 or something, and that's not right. It won't work that way. So anyways, let's, let's get the uh, formula for this particular parabola. And you notice it, it's uh, U-shaped up. Um, the p-value must be greater than 0, and uh, the vertex is at 0, 0. Okay? So in our, form, our formulas, we can kind of uh, just put all that information in. So the formula was x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Okay. So we know um, the 0, 0 for hk. So we'll end up with h minus 0 squared, which is just h x squared, x minus 0 squared, which is just x squared, equals um, 4p times y minus 0, which will just be y. And then we need to solve for p. Okay, so how do we get p then? And of course, our picture is going to look... Uh, our picture is going to look like this. Okay. So how do we get our p value? Well, we're going to use these coordinates, right? The 2, 2, um, plug that in for x and y, and then you'll have an equation in terms of one variable. So I'll end up with uh, 4, you know, 2 squared is 4, equals 4 times p times y, which is 2. And then I can solve for um, p. So I have 4 equals 8p. So p equals 4 eighths, which is 1 half. And that also get, then gives you the location of the focus. So right now our, our formula is x squared equals uh, 1 half uh, times 4 times y. So we'll have x squared equals uh, 2y is, is the formula for our parabola. And then, um, then the location of the bulb. Okay. That's just the p-value, because uh, for the focus, it's going to be um, 0, 0, plus 1 half, right? So 0, 1 half, and that'll be the location of the bulb. Okay, so an interesting fact about these foci um, that you can, you know, Tell your friends at your, at your next party, did you know the bulb is located at the focus of the parabola? Uh, so there is some science to it. Okay? Okay. I, th I think that'll do us for now. Um, certainly. Okay. So as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.